Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. First off, I'd like to apologize for the quality or lack thereof of my voiceover for the previous video. Maybe most of you didn't care, but for me it really was bad. It literally makes me cringe when I listen to it. <laughs> but um, to be fair, it shouldn't be, I shouldn't be so hard with myself since when I recorded it. It was super late and I was suffering from a horrible migraine, which incidentally lasted me three full days. So yeah, definitely not the right conditions to record a voiceover. Luckily for me, today I feel wonderful, as much as one can be with Elis Danlos, so to speak. And um, I'm delighted to bring you this new video and on time, which is even better, right? So what about it? I'm using the new technique I said that I wanted to try in my previous video uh, to build my shadows and textures differently. That is, I, I inked and painted it with India ink and washes of India ink directly over my sketch, which was done with a blue colorized pencil as I normally do. I mean, using colorized pencils, not, not uh, blue all the time. So this image is sort of a quick illustration slash concept slash elaborated sketch just to give me something interesting, an interesting subject to work out uh, for this new technique. I used, as always, a mix of photos from the internet and of me as references, but uh, well, when I say picture of me, just, just the arms, I don't use to wear uh, branches all the time, as you can imagine. Um, but this time I didn't do first a sketch and then didn't use my light box to do, to do the line um, because I, as I said, wanted an image uh, that was quick and kind of easy to do, so directly painting over the sketch. As you can see, I call this image Yule, which if you didn't know already, is the Nordic pagan term for winter and or December and or the winter festivals. It's actually, um, this, this image is actually part of a short series of four illustrations about the seasons that I am making right now, or rather a personal representation of the spirit of those seasons. Uh, again, well, <laughs> true to myself, it's a magical, weird concept, the, the kind of thing that I, I like and feel comfortable to draw and paint, but uh, with a twist to make it more interesting for me. Yeah, because not only did I experiment with my new technique, but I also forced myself to draw animal heads, uh, something I don't often draw. And well, I, I, I love to draw uh, animal heads, the regular body, uh, human body under that, but I don't often draw those particular heads. And that's a wonderful idea. I mean, if you want to get better at something you're not comfortable to draw yet, start with including this new element in a novel concept that you're pretty familiar with. So that when you when you draw this new element, when, when you draw that, you won't be discouraged by the difficulties as you could be starting head first with a, a whole pictures full of, of subjects which are hard to draw or paint for you. Rather, you, you start with more things that you are used to, to, to do and just a few things that you're not used to do and that's that's a good way to actually make some progress. So for my first image for this uh, series of seasons I decided uh, to start with fall or maven as it's called so um, again pagan name for, uh, for fall and I started it with a goat head because I already know a bit how to draw goats and this way I could focus on my new India ink technique rather than in drawing a, an animal head that I wasn't comfortable with. Now, I didn't film uh, the, this fall image both because my health wasn't that good as I said and also because I wanted to to get a bit better uh, with, with my new technique to get a bit more comfortable prior to, to showing it to you. So if you follow me on the Instagram, you might have already seen it. And that's why I'm showing you the second image for this mini project today, because I hope it'll be nicer for you, more interesting and clear to see the new technique since I'm a bit more used to it. 
And um, well, as I said previously, there's still some interesting challenges in it for me. Since I still got to get better on my mixed media technique and, um, and I'm mixing ink, watercolors and gouache together. And I, I tried to paint a wolf head as well, something I hadn't done for over, I don't know, 10 years or, or more, something like that. So um, speaking of gouache, as you can see, after I painted the frost or snow over parts of my creature's body, I realized that I wasn't that happy with the colors of her body because once again, <laughs> I didn't do a color study before so that I painted everything as it came, inspiration and errors included. Uh, I, I really have to tackle that. Um, so I decided to apply light washes of, of gouache uh, after, after my watercolor was, was dried and it's not, it's not really white, by the way. It's rather a very light blue-gray uh, over, over her body. And when it was dry, thanks to my dear hair dryer, which you'll get used to, to, to see me use all the time, I just added some final light layers of watercolor to, to blend it and make it look good with a, a better hue, uh, the exact hue that I, I had in mind. And the last little detail slash twist are these wonderful Kuretake starry colors that I applied at the at the very last in the background and the symbol for Yule that I drew on the wolf's head with a silver sharpie pen. Those are the some new some new supplied that I have. Uh, I had them for my birthday uh, in July and I decided to start using them for this little series as well uh, to again explore my mixed media techniques. And um, and that's it for today. Um, I I must say that I like the overall result, and I love how the different materials blend together to make a technique that starts to to look like it's my own. And um, so I'm really looking forward to paint the last two seasons now with this uh, mixed media technique and this whole concept. I hope that you liked this video as well. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Write me some comments. They are always welcome. If you want to follow this channel, please subscribe. To see more illustration and sketches from me, you can follow me on Instagram since it's where I'm the most active. And if you wish to buy a print or even an original painting, please visit my store, especially because I will add the full series of four seasons when they're finished. And I hope to see you in my next video, which may or may not be already about Inktober. Yay! And I have a, a whole new concept for Inktober. So again, I'm looking forward to do that. And I hope you will as well. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!